Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a while loop. I start out by creating a variable called number. I prompt the user to enter a number between 0 and 10. And I assume my program performs some kind of processing on that number. And the program expects the number to be between 0 and 10. So the user really could enter, enter any integer. So I want to perform some input validation before. And for this input validation, I'm going to use a while loop. So I have the while keyword followed by an expression and then a block. And the way this while loop works is the program will check the expression. If it is true, it will enter the block and execute all the statements in the block. And when it completes the block, it will go back and check the expression again. So if the expression is true again, it will enter the block a second time, execute all these statements, then go back, check the expression again. And this circle repeats over and over again as long as the expression is true. Once the expression becomes false, it will no longer enter the block and continue after the while loop. So in a sense, it is similar to the if condition that we had, where the if condition checks the expression here. If the expression is true, it will enter the block, but the if condition will not go back and check. So that is the key difference. The if condition will check the block and then continue after. The while loop will always go back and check it again. So in this case, we want to perform input validation. So inside the block, we, we want to prompt the user to enter a value again. And the expression that we want to check here is if the user enters an invalid value, then inside the block, we want to prompt the user to input an, the value again and prompt the user to enter a valid value again. So essentially we're saying while you enter an invalid value, I will prompt you to enter a new value. When this value is valid, I no longer need to enter the block and prompt you again. I continue, can continue with my program. So here we expect a value between 0 to 10. So we don't want to prompt the user again to enter a value if it's a valid value already. So the condition here has to be when the value is invalid. So when number is less than zero or if the number is larger than 10. So since we want to have a range from zero to 10, if it's negative, we want to prompt the user again, or if it's above 10, we want to prompt again. Otherwise, we don't need to prompt the user to enter a new value. So here we output invalid, enter a value or a number between 0 and 10, and then we read in the value again. And the user will enter a new value here, and then after this is entered, we don't just continue. We actually go back, check again, is the new value that was entered now valid. If it's not valid, we prompt again until the user enters a valid value and then we continue with the program. So let's try this out. Let's say the first time we enter a value of negative 3. We see we entered the loop invalid and a value between 0 and 10. Let's say I enter 12, 15, negative 20, so we are currently stuck inside this loop because we keep entering a invalid value. Now, if I enter a correct value, let's say three, then the program continued afterwards and exited. So this is how the while loop works. A common mistake initially is adding an else statement here, like else. There's no else for an if, if loop, uh, for a while loop. So if we have while, we cannot add a else statement. If, 
If this is false, we simply continue. If it's true, we keep repeating. There's no else for a while loop. The while loop is good for cases when we don't know the number of iterations. So in this case, we don't know how many times we want to repeat our code block. We just know we want to repeat it as long as the number variable is invalid. So this is perfect for a while loop. You want to repeat something as long as a certain condition holds true. There's another loop, uh, the for loop, that can be used where you say you want to repeat something 10 times. So for the while loop, it's best to use when you don't know the number of times you want to repeat something. Okay, I hope this gives you an idea how to use a while loop. Thank you for watching.